Welcome to Truckee Talks. I'm your host, Maya Schneider, and it's my privilege to bring back to the show Patty Johnson talking about Truckee Community Christmas. Patty, welcome back. It's great to be here, Maya. Well, I was thinking today when uh, we were scheduling the show again, I thought, now, is this Patty's fourth year or fifth year? I can't even remember. I, I can't remember either, <laughs> but it's certainly an annual <laughs> It's occasion. an annual event. That's right. It's the only time we get together anymore. Well, welcome back. We are here to talk about Truckee Community Christmas. And why don't you start off by telling folks what Truckee Community Christmas is? Okay. Uh, Truckee Community Christmas is an umbrella organization. What we try to do is coordinate the efforts of all the different organizations in the community that are um, doing things at Christmas to help people who might have extra needs at this time. And the idea is that we want to try to uh, avoid duplication of efforts so that we can reach a greater number of people who really need help. I'm sure at one point there were some groups doing food drives and some groups doing toy drives, and you sort of managed to pull all these different groups together. That's correct. And the, the other problem is we'd have some groups doing food gr drives and other groups doing food right. drives. <laughs> and so now it's, it's kind of all consolidated so that we have one umbrella organization helping the other organizations coordinate the whole thing. That's great. Now there's <coughs> a variety of different drives that we have uh, associated with Truckee Community Christmas, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But talk a little bit, if you will, about your history with Truckee Community Christmas and how long you've been doing this and what the experience has been like for you. Oh, great. A tough question. <laughs> 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 I think I have been doing this either five or six years. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly how long it's been. But um, Joan Hartwell really was the spearhead on getting the organization going. And she approached several of us. We saw a need. We created a nonprofit organization, and Joan really made it all happen. And, and to answer the second part of your question, it's been a great experience. It's, it's uh, a little intense for the last month right before Christmas, but uh, it's well worth it. It does take a lot of organization to pull together all of these things. Do you still have different groups in charge of the various drives? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah. We okay. have um, Seroptimus handle the toy drive, and a uh, Church of the Mountains handles the warm coat drive, and the realtors handle the food drive. There you have it. So you still have groups putting in their volunteers, if you will, their man hours and women hours to right. get it all done. Yeah. Patty, it's, uh, it's been a tough economic time, especially over the last year and a half or so. Are you seeing a greater need in our community? Absolutely. We, um, we had a board meeting a couple weeks ago, and we have more people in need than we've ever had before. We currently, at last count, we had 180 families. We anticipate we're going to have over 200 families, and that's on top of about 40 seniors, mm -hmm. um, several of whom are homebound. And that's way more than we've ever had before. And then on top of that, we have a little bit less money coming in than we had mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. So we're having to stretch what we have a little bit further um, it's, it's tough. It's tough on everyone. And you mentioned before we got started on the show that uh, last year was perhaps a, a large drive on behalf of the community in the wake of September 11th, and people were really feeling the need to, to reach out and support their community. And that, yeah. this year we're just all feeling the ding in our pocketbook. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And last year we had more food and more toys than we've ever had and more money than we've ever had. And it, it was unbelievable. How, and the mountains of toys on um, <laughs> wrapping day was just unbelievable. This year, um, people are still bringing toys in, so w w that remains to be seen, but the money is definitely down. Down. Yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about the uh, different drives we have, Patty, and we'll take them one at a time. First of all, there's a coat drive. Correct. Okay, tell us That's about that. That's um, handled by Church of the Mountains, and we're asking the community to donate warm, um, Clothing, uh, ski clothing for kids, uh, outer gear, sweaters, that type of thing. And, you know, used clothing is fine as long as it's what we call gently worn. Gently worn, yeah. right. Uh, and clean. And those can be dropped off at Church of the Mountains. And the contact there is Mindy Harrington. And you can call Mindy for information at 582 4752. That's and correct. again, that's the warm, really should be the. Uh, coat drive, but it's the warm clothing drive. Correct. Yeah, keep yeah. people warm during the winter. Right. And we are going to get a winter. Have you I'm asked hoping. Santa about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it's on my list. All right. You and Joan have the direct line to Santa, so I'm hoping <laughs> that we're going to see something from this. I think we need a little white on the ground to help everyone really get, get in the, the mood. It's true. I have the 17-foot 
Christmas tree slash Hanukkah bush in my living room, and I'm not there yet. I'm not in the mood yet, and I think a lot of that has to do with the lack of snow. Yeah. So we'll try to, it, we'll all do our snow dances and pray for snow and get that uh, mood Leave our enhancer windows happening. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> wash your car. Everybody in town, go wash your car. Uh, the food drive. Yes. That's handled by the realtors. And um, actually, I meant to cut out the article in the, in the newspaper, but there are barrels all over town. Okay. And you can donate um, non-perishable food, uh, drop it off at the barrels. There are both grocery stores in town and at banks. Um, I believe Truckee Elementary has a barrel as well, and uh, Rock Garden. And I'm sure if you've been around town, you've seen them. Um, but any any type of food at all, um, and then we put together boxes for the families. So next time you're at the Glenshire store, or Ames, or Safeway, or Albertsons, pick up some extra non-perishable food, and drop it in one of the barrels around town. And if you're having trouble finding the barrels, I can't imagine you would. But in case, you can contact Lori Greer or Brian Grocott at 582-3315. One five. Again, Lori with the Tahoe Sierra Board mm -hmm. of Realtors is contact for the food drive. So uh, pick up an extra can, an extra box when you're at the grocery store, and be sure to drop that off in the box on your way out. It really does make a difference for people in town, doesn't it? It, it really does. And, and a couple other ideas are some of the stores run two-for-one promotions, and maybe you don't need that second item. So go ahead and drop that second item in the barrel. Great. or Sometimes we've had different businesses who do, as part of their Christmas party, do some sort of a food drive, and we'd be happy to take all that food off your hands and <laughs> make sure it gets to the people who need it. Well, we're going to have contact information up at the end of the show about how to get a hold of Truckee Community Christmas, but I'll put your number out there just in case. Patty Johnson, Truckee Community Christmas, 587-7715. The toy drive. I think people really get behind the toy drive, Patty. The rest of it, we know it's needed, but the toys just, they're fun. And they you get are a, you fun. Get, you get a good feeling from doing it. Yeah, and that's handled by the Seroptimus organization who has done it. I've been a Seroptimus for 11 years, and <laughs> Seroptimus has been doing it as long as I've been a Seroptimus. Um, this year, there's a particular need for teen toys. Hmm. Um, we have a larger group of teens than we've had, and so if you still haven't dropped your toy off, we'd love for you to pick up something for teens. They tend to want things like wallets, jewelry boxes, CDs. If you're going to do something that's a gift certificate, you can go ahead and mail it to Truckee Community Christmas rather than dropping it off in the barrel. It tends to get lost in the bottom of the barrel. Mm. So um, That's a good reminder. And then we also have a need for infants which is for, I think, the fun stuff, the cute little fluffy things. <laughs> <laughs> little, little squishy teddy bears. Yeah. And, and all right, so yeah. infants and teenagers especially. Infants and teens. I mean, we need all ages, but those are the ones that we're seeing a little extra need this year. Boy, tough to buy for teenagers. I'm glad that you had some suggestions. It's <laughs> tough to buy for the teens in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, the Seroptimus toy barrels all throughout town. Be sure that your presents are unwrapped when you drop them off. And if you need to find a barrel, you can call Deb Sajak at 587-4691. Again, the Seroptimus Toy Drive all throughout town. Unwrap toys. We need to know the age group and the gender, if there is a, an appropriate gender for the toy. And we can only know that if the toy is unwrapped. OK, adopt a senior. Patty, tell us about that. What Basically, Connie Lance out at the Senior Center has been handling that program for a number of years. And there are a lot of seniors in our community whose families are too far away and they don't necessarily uh, travel to where their families are or their families don't necessarily travel here to be with them. And so Connie has kind of spearheaded this program to try to take care of them. Mm -hmm. um, they put together a little list of, of items that they would like to have and frequently the items are fairly modest not always sometimes they're you know wanting something like a vcr or something along those lines and so if you adopt a senior you could buy one or two of these items for a couple of se seniors and those will be given to the senior and kind of make their day a little less lonely um, they also are, are part of our food program mm -hmm. and so um, they get we try to get food that's appropriate for them to them um, they don't necessarily need the big mondo size packages of pasta or whatever. Right, right. Um, and so we try to something that's take easy care to of cook them. and easy to handle. Right. What what would be appropriate gifts for the seniors? I think that um, 
slippers, gloves, mm -hmm. those types of things. Mm -hmm. um, Joan has told me that they really like a lot of those miniature, perf not perfumes, um, shampoos and, and those sort of travel. Oh, the travel size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those types of things um, work really well for them <laughs> I thought you were going to say the miniature bottles of alcohol. Y yeah, that's what, that would be in my stocking. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What's Santa bringing for you this year, Patty? I'm so hoping for diamond, per personally, you know. <laughs> Mark, are you paying attention to this? <laughs> you know, coal, compressed. Right. <laughs> That's right, over many, many thousands of years. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the Adopt-A-Senior program, you can contact Connie Lentz, 582-8359, and what better way to spend your holiday than by inviting somebody else into your holiday season? And this, one of the things about Truckee Community Christmas that I love is that you get the sense of sharing outside of your immediate realm. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you really are reaching out to other people, people that you don't know. And, and that's what feels so good about this time of year. It's that feeling we wish we could keep going that's all throughout. That's one of the things I really appreciate about it is that I, I feel very fortunate to live in the town I live in, to be in the circumstance that I'm in. And it's really a, a wonderful way to experience and maybe help people who don't have the same gifts that I have yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. That's true. And even the gift of uh, companionship. I think uh, the Adopt a Senior program is a wonderful idea. And you can really extend that notion to anybody that you may work with, if you work with a large employer. And there's orphans all throughout our town that won't be able to get home and see their family for the holidays. Mm. Bring them in. And have them to your family Christmas. It, it feels good for everybody mm -hmm. to do that. And cash donations always welcome. Patty, you mentioned that uh, this year the need is greater and the cash coming in has been less. That's really not a surprise um, to anybody who raises money, but maybe it's, it's not a, a reminder. Su it's not a surprise at all. I think that as, as we were talking about before the show, everybody's feeling the pinch this year. Yeah. Um, the problem we're having as any any nonprofit organization is that we're having to stretch less money even further. So, you know, it's a plea. Please send a check if you have if you have the ability to do it. Any amount is welcome. We really, really need the cash. <laughs> <laughs> and cash donations, which are always welcome to Truckee Community Christmas, may be mailed to Post Office Box 2955. Truckee, California, 96160. So you may not have time to the get to the grocery store or the toy store. You can always write a check, and it's to a nonprofit. So Exactly. We do have a, a 501c3 status. It's a tax-deductible donation. There you have it. So let's get some of those <laughs> donations in and help make a number of people's Christmas much brighter. And we talk about a number of people. Patty, how many families? Currently, we have over 180 families. Mm -hmm. We anticipate that we'll have 200 families by the time we get to Christmas, and that's on top of our seniors. 200 mm -hmm. families could come up to as much as 1,000 people when you include all of the children. That's correct. Oh, that's, that's yeah. quite an impact. You mm -hmm. should feel good about that. Uh, wrapping parties, okay. That's everybody's favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how some people really hate to wrap presents. In my family, I wrapped everybody's presents except mine, and they were tempted to give me my presents to wrap as well. So are you going to come over to my house and help me? Well, out? I may if you need the help. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as you and I were talking about before uh, we came on camera, you never wrap them with ribbon anymore because the cats eat the ribbon. That's right. And it's not a good scene. So wrapping parties for all of these presents that come in. Yes, wrapping will be at um, the Truckee High School cafeteria um, Thursday night from 3.30 on. And that's December 19th. That's December 19th. Mm -hmm. Bring your scissors, um, bring tape. We have wrapping paper, but if you'd like to donate wrapping paper, we will take it. We will take your scraps. If you have scraps mm -hmm. that you're sick of and you want to get rid of, we're happy to take that as well. And then the second day um, the, uh, is Friday the 20th, and that will be all day until we're done. Um, the thing that's really great about that, Maya, is that uh, having it during the day enables high school students to come in during the day and maybe wrap for an hour and then go back to their class. And with the mounds of presents we had last year in the wake of September 11th, we would never have gotten through it all if we didn't have all those kids coming in during the day out. and helping out. It was amazing. This, now, this is a fun evening, too. So mark this on your calendar. Again, Thursday, December 19th from 3.30 p.m. on in the Truckee High School cafeteria. And then all day, Friday, December 20th, until it's done, come over and help wrap presents. It's a real wrapping party. 
Bring scissors, bring tape. Bring scissors, bring tape. If you want to drop tape, ribbon, wrapping paper, whatever off in the barrels, we will take, the, take that. We always have a need. What are the challenges ongoing, Patty, for Truckee Community Christmas? What do you forecast for next year and the years following that will be challenges that the community will help to need meet? Or I, I think it depends entirely on the economy. Mm -hmm. You know, as the economy goes up and down, our community's needs go up and down just like it does anywhere else. And, um, you know, cash donations is something that we can use all year round and then we save it up for Christmas. We are kind of a one time of year operation. I know there are other entities that operate all year round. We do our big push from Thanksgiving on and then we kind of step back uh, from that. But I also think that, com that, that competing with other organizations that are out there doing what we're doing as well mm -hmm. it, it makes it a little tough, which is why if anyone is out there doing any of the things we're doing, we'd like to talk to you and coordinate those efforts so that we can all reach a greater number of people rather than having maybe one family double that Duplicate line. efforts. Mm -hmm. So again, you can contact Truckee Community Christmas through Patty Johnson's office at 587-7715. Patty, you're an attorney by trade, but you're an elf by decision, uh, by all the work that you've done with Truckee Community Christmas. So I'm going to ask you to put your elf hat on and think about a response to this question. Why is Christmas so important? Why is it so important that we reach out and, and help people out? Boy, that's a tough one, mm. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's, um, it's a time of year that is really family and community oriented. And it's a time of year that we, we really, it's magical, you know. And we really gather together and, and really think about our families and the people that we really care about and we're really close to. And for me, I think that's why it's such an important time of year. Yeah. Well, coming from an elf, I'll take that as the qualified answer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we should take a minute, too, and thank all of the different volunteers uh, that are helping out with this. As you mentioned, uh, Joan Hartwell, who's really been the the queen of Truckee Community Christmas. She's the heart and soul, yeah. absolutely. So, way to go, Joan. And again, Mindy Harrington, Church of the Mountains, for the Warm Clothing Drive. You can contact Mindy at 582-4752 to donate warm, clean clothing. And uh, you may also drop that off at Church of the Mountains. The Food Drive uh, is courtesy of the Tahoe Sierra Board of Realtors. And for food drive information, you can contact Lori Greer or Brian Grocott at 582-3315. And just keep your eyes open for barrels around town to drop off non-perishable food items. Please don't drop a pint of Ben & Jerry's in there. It just doesn't work. <laughs> for the toy drive, again, we have the Seroptimus to thank. And you want to drop off new unwrapped toys at barrels throughout town. And if you can't find a barrel, call Deb Sajak at 587-4691. And adopt a senior, which another two years from now I may qualify for, <laughs> contact Connie Lentz at 582-8359 and help make a senior's holiday that much brighter. And then of course cash donations, which are always welcome for the Truckee Community Christmas, our post office box 2955, Truckee, California, 96160. And if you have any questions about all of these different things going on with Truckee Community Christmas, you can call Patty Johnson, our designated elf, at 587 7715, or Carla Pombo, 587 4112. And again, keep in mind those wrapping dates Thursday, December 19th, at Truckee High School Cafeteria from 3 30 on, and Friday, December 20th, also at the high school cafeteria all day. Bring your scissors, bring lots of scotch tape, <laughs> and uh, have your buddy there to hold the ribbon while you make the knot. <laughs> exactly. You know, there are some people who do this every year as a family mm. tradition, and it's where their children learn to wrap presents. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great training ground. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Patty, what, uh, what are you asking Santa for this year? I'm not asking Santa for anything. No? Not really. No. Well, are you going to get lumps of coal, or have you been a pretty good girl all year? I think I've been an okay girl. All right. So maybe, <laughs> maybe the coal will be halfway, halfway there. Morphed into, uh, <laughs> compressed into diamondhood. Yeah. 
Well, I wish you and your uh, family happy holidays, Patty. Happy belated Hanukkah. It came early this it year. It did come early I, this it year. It came and went before I had a chance to pull the menorah out of the box. So that was the end of that. We had ours going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe that gets me off the hook a little bit. And uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family, and good luck with everything that you do for Truckee Community Christmas. Thank you so much, Maya, for you letting bet. us use this opportunity. Well, I know we'll see you next year, but let's you and I try to get together before then. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a minute with updates from around the region for events coming up, so stay tuned. And welcome back to the show. Now we'll go through your events in and around our region for the week of Wednesday, December 11th. Well, coming to a homeowners association clubhouse near you this December, the Truckee Police Department will be conducting a series of public meetings to hear from you. Keep an eye on the Sierra Sun for more details, dates, and times. This is your town government and your opportunity to talk to the police department. So don't miss this opportunity to let your voice be heard. You can contact Town Hall for information, too. On December 12th, Donner Ski Ranch has a Customer Appreciation Day. Tickets are a buck apiece. Call 426-3635 for information. And December 13th, those thigh burners can enjoy a telemark clinic at North Star at Tahoe. Call North Star for more information at 562-2475. And December 13th through the 15th, Squaw Valley Ski Corps is holding their advanced ski clinic. This three-day clinic emphasizes technical skiing at its highest level. You can bet I won't be there. Call Squaw at 581-7184. I still have to get through the intermediate stuff. On Friday the 13th, you can get in the mood at Squaw with their evening of action ski and snowboard photography and video. Some of the biggest names in snow sport photography and videography will be there. Or you can attend the 11th Annual Snow Gods Ball on the 14th, also at Squaw. Call Squaw for information on both events at 583-6985. Also on the 14th, Boreal is hosting the Sick and Twisted Snowboard event, brought to you by Snowbomb.com. Call Boreal at 426-3666 for details. And if you lived the 70s and thought they were great, you can relive them at Tahoe Donner Ski Hill on December 15th with $6 lift tickets and 70s music. That's not an oxymoron. Call 587-9400 for more information. Or if you're in the mood, check out the USASA North Tahoe Snowboard Series at Where Else Donner Ski Ranch, also on the 15th. Call Norm and the boys at 426 3635 for information. On December 15th, the Sierra Nevada Dance Theater presents a holiday favorite, the Nutcracker Ballet at the Truckee High School. Call 582-0948 for details on the ballet. And on December 16th, Act 2 of the Nutcracker Ballet plus Inner Rhythms Dance Theater Sneak Preview, also at Truckee High School. Again, 582-0948 for details. And through some trick of holiday magic, Patty Johnson has shrunk back to her nine-year-old self, only her name is Rachel. Rachel, welcome to the show. It's so nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Are you excited about Christmas coming yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah? What did you ask for from Santa this year? Um, well, the main thing was a bunny, but I don't think I'm going to I'm gonna be getting that. I have my cat, of course. And so that's not really an option for with a cat. Ah, so the, and the cat eats the ribbon off the Christmas yeah. presents. All right. So what would be number two on your list? I think number two would be probably money for money for American Girl presents. All right, there you have it. Well, Santa, if you're listening, Rachel has her list. You already celebrated Hanukkah, so happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. You too. Thanks, Rachel. Have a great holiday. 
and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and whatever you celebrate this month or in the following year. Have a great holiday season from all of us here at TTC TV Studios and Trekkie Talks. Happy holidays and we'll see you next time.